Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Shop well. Shop Quicksell. You got that? Alright, so after that terrible mission last time, we're definitely going to be jumping into something that's going to be hot, I think, this time. Uh, that three and a half skull, um, what's it called? Um, Always good to see you in Austin. These guys here. Uh, blackout mission. Uh, we're going to jump into this one today. It's against uh, Comstar, so it should be interesting. But before we do that, let's have a look at the mech bay because I've made some adjustments to the main lance. Now, the Vindicator remained the same, but I was like, well, we, we haven't touched the two Panthers and the Valkyrie in a little while. So let's see what we can do to, to increase the firepower slightly. And I think I've done a pretty good job of doing that. So the Valkyrie, let's have a quick look at this guy. So what I ended up doing with the Valkyrie is I decided I was going to put in a hybrid uh, TSM and I pulled out the chem lasers, replaced them with medium pulse lasers, put the weapon mount with the heat reduction on this side to give them even more accuracy and reduced heat. Some protective padding there in the center torso. We kept the pulse laser and the energy crit um, and I was able to sneak in a combat shotgun. So we replaced the rocket pack with the combat shotgun because I put the hybrid, hybrid TSM in. And I also put a chameleon on this thing because this guy is our basically up-close scout, right? And piloting support to increase his, uh, like his piloting ability to uh, hopefully he doesn't get knocked down if he gets charged or things like that, right? So that's another, another incentive to put that on this guy. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, it's pretty heat flush. Like, it should be fine. I don't see uh, getting any problems with this guy. And I, that's definitely an upgrade in, in weapons. The uh, two large chem lasers that we removed, uh, these guys do an extra five damage each. Although, large chem lasers have a greater range, but these like, this guy gets in close anyway, so that's fine for range. And then the combat shotgun, of course, um, has got some range, so we're, we're good there. So that's this guy. And the two Panthers I decided to, to play around with as well. So we had the one Quick Cell 2 Panther. Now this guy has the Rack 2 in it. So I left that in there. Um, but I decided to switch it up a little bit. So he's got the handheld Rack 2. Uh, I pulled off the SRM ER medium laser. Snuck in another medium Rex laser on this side. Uh, so we've got a pair of Rex lasers. Now it's a bit of recoil for everything. But I'm hoping that we can. this guy will be like the fire it all generate massive recoil, drop it for a turn, then come back and fire everything again. Because we have an ultralight rotary rifle on this side. Now it doesn't do a lot of damage, but the stability is six per hit, right? So if we can wind this thing up along with the handheld rack two, right? This is two and a half per hit, but like there's six shots and then there's six shots here. So this is guy's gonna do be, a, be doing a fair amount of stability damage. We've also got the rotary on the other mech. On the other Panther, which I'll show you, I made some adjustments on that guy as well. So there's good knockdown potential for, for bigger mechs here, which was shown last time with the Atlas. But now it's even going to be increased because of the second rotary on this guy. So yeah, I think that's... I mean, I'm liking the idea that the rotary is on this more so than the, the Streak 6. Because for one, this thing does more... Uh, in general, does more damage. It's, it says damage 20, but it's minus 25% to armor, so it's only 15 per hit. Uh, yes, it's got a chance to jam for sure, but like I said, we're going to fire it and then and turn it off, fire it and turn it off. So hopefully it won't jam as much. But um, yeah, so it's, it's doing more damage generally overall than the SRM streak was, and it weighs less. With the two tons, of, even with the two tons of ammo, and this, this weighs less than the streak at launcher itself, minus the fact that it needed an extra ton of ammo for the launcher. So this gave us the ability to put the second Rex laser in. Um, and I think I dropped another, yeah, another heat sink in, in patchwork materials, just so that we weren't, uh, we were at, we were heat flush, but I'm like that extra heat sink is, it's going to help, especially with the periphery going off. And if we're in a hotter environment, we're going to definitely want more heat sinking. So I went a little bit over with the heat sinking. We'll see how that goes. Most likely he's going to fire. It'll go be a bit hot and then we'll drop our recoil, drop our heat and then do the same thing the next turn. Panther quick sell four. This guy basically stayed the same. I mean, a slight modification. I tried to get the rotary into the, uh, another, like another rotary into this guy, but it wasn't really working. But I did manage to sneak in the TSM that we have down here 
to sneak in the combat shotgun. So now we've got three combat shotguns and a rotary two in this lance, which I think is going to be kind of cool. Uh, I did have to unfortunately drop the um, the clan improved heavy laser, medium laser, and I moved the ER medium into the center torso and I put an ER laser blaze fire in here, which does 20 damage. So we draw we lost 20 damage, but we gained a combat shotgun. So I think that's probably a good trade. Uh, I also dropped in a clan cockpit in here because we had it, so I just threw it in there. And I think that's all I touched on this guy. We maintain the recoil in the upper arm. It's going to be nice if we can get this on the uh, ultralight rotary rifle, uh, but the rotary here is still uh, up and running. So the, re the damage stability is 8 per hit on this guy. I don't know what the stability per hit on this is too. It's not very much, but, you know... Hopefully, with the, all the rotaries we've got, we're going to get some good knockdowns. So, that's this guy. Let's see how we do. Oh, man, I'm interested to see how this turns out. Watch, we get, we're going to go in and get shredded and we'll lose all the stuff. But, <laughs> let's go and try this. Uh, I'm ready for it. So, I don't think we're going to get the second Lance in to fight because we're missing a guy in the Lance. He won't be back in time. All right, Blackout, let's negotiate this. It's in the Badlands, so hopefully it could be to our favor. We're going to go full salvage, of course. We're to Blake versus Comstar. Uh, let's load in our main guy here. Let's see if it's still working. Jenkins, supply. Should be fine, right? Too big, too big. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, see, it's not swooping. Now, I haven't upgraded the... Yeah, it's just not... That is so weird. The, this pilot stayed. I don't know why Scooter's in there. Earthquake should not be in there. Yeah, it's messing up now so the pilots are wrong that's weird oh wait sc yeah right scooter should be in there so the pi those pilots were right wait was am i just i don't know i'm losing my mind um so quick cell panther 2 here uh where is the vindicator right there and the valkyrie Beautiful. I know this says five tons, whatever it is, but I don't care. We should be good to go. <laughs> One skull versus three and a half. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. All right, hopefully we get a good drop. Okay, enough. Oh, where are we? We're in the back. Oh, okay. Like, there's creatures living beneath the surface. Ooh, well, this puts a little different spin on things. So they're going to get six drops. I think one drops up here, two, three, four, like across here. Mm. That's if it's a drop. It could just be turrets. Or they could be our turrets. Now how do I want to do this though? We got real lucky the last time. I don't know if it's going to happen again this time though. So I mean we could, the problem with being up in the hill is that we're visible by everybody, right? So I think maybe we take some turns. I think I can get down here. What do you need? Can you? What's up, boss? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh boy, I think I'm gonna play this one safe. It's three and a half. So let's go. We're gonna go down this way. We're gonna go to the spot we normally go to. Aye, aye. I don't want. I'm not gonna risk getting myself shredded here for. Uh, On the move. For a bit of salvage. Got it. I would rather live to fight another day, even if we didn't get salvage on this one. Moving to position. All right. We gotta even the odds as fast as we can for this battle. So let's hold off moving you down. Ready for so we can get you guys into place. Let's move you over here. Nope. Let's get Standing these guys by. down and out of your way. So you're not blocking people. Location you... Confirmed. Yeah, you're going to block people, man. Waiting for orders. Vindy's got a Roger. big wide butt, so he ain't coming down go. first. Let's get you up over here. This is the double... Affirmative. Let's get you down. Not you. Yep. Yep, down here. Yep. 
Understood. Okay, everyone's gonna wait for the Vindicator. I feel pretty confident though. I mean, with the, with the new upgrades, um, I think we're pretty well. Um, I don't want. I don't want to say it. I'm a lot more comfortable. Let's rest this baby so she don't get too hot. With how things might turn out here. Okay, so we got two more turns. So we're gonna move you to there. Acknowledge. Let's get into position here. We want to get a quick kill on this first guy. If if it's a drop. Hopefully we can get a quick kill on this first person that drops in here. We got another turn before these vehicles get over to where I need to have them. So you can go over there. Moving to position. You can go over there. Okay. Let's move as far as we can. Okay. Put you there, because we're going to come back. Same thing. Same idea. Alright, so the first Hetzer is going to move into here. On my and way. the second Hetzer is going to move to here. We got one in, and two in. Fingers crossed. What do we got? We got drops. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we're up against. This could be bad. C3 network protected. So they do have a C3 system. We got crappy uh, initiative. They got a copter too. What do they got here? Sleep near ISV. Jager mech. That's not good. Our turrets are going to go down fast. That looked like a hunchback, but I don't think it is. It's something else. Nexus. Oh man, really? Oh, looks, looks, like, looks like an enforcer. Got a lot of pulses. Is this guy like a crab? Looks like it. They're fast, man. They are fast. Bandersnatch. Hunchback. Okay, it was a hunchback down there. Rotary. Nope. Man. At least they're hitting the turrets and not me, because that would be bad. That's... what is that? He's got... I don't know. Sprint. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Hopefully we can kill these two guys quickly. That's a lot of shit he's got. The Agrimex don't have a lot of armor. But he's got a lot of damage output. Holy crap. Okay, this is going to be a fight. It's gonna be a br this guy's still gotta go. Oh, these guys just beat me in initiative. Is that a marauder? Looks like a marauder. Shit. Uh, well, you know who to shoot for. Okay. Receiving you. Try to do this the easy way. It's gonna end up being the hard way. Wow, look at the chance to hit. Seventy-seven on him, though. Okay, let's pull back here. We gotta pull this guy down. It's pretty much looks like a marauder, but it's only eight, only eight eighty. We gotta go all in. Gotta go all in. Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay, we hit this guy. We hit, do we hit this guy? Hit. Structure exposed. Oh, this Nexus has got like nothing armor wise. Commander. It's not a good day for you, buddy. That's not a good day for you. Can we get a side shot? We can. I know we're clustering. This is not way. a good idea, Double but... Time. That guy's in the way. I don't care. Let's move this guy down. I still have an upgraded. I gotta upgrade still. 
Okay, not the best chances to hit, but we got a good lot of a lot of damage on this guy's arm. Maybe we can claim his arm here. Yep. That hit something good. Okay. Standing by. <laughs> Garbage. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta hope that these guys worry about the Hetzers and try and turn and do something back here. But we're gonna go after this guy. Not the greatest amount of damage, but um Copy that. Got the hit, okay. I'm your spaniel. It's me E. Garbage. What is up with my chance to hit? I guess I just got a bad roll? Okay, we're gonna move up here. And hopefully, whatever we miss with hits this Nexus. Worried about that sprint now, too. Alright. Uh, we gotta go with everything. Let's drop you down. I'm gonna go standard SRM ammo. Yeah. I'm gonna go standard. Let's fire on this guy. Roger that. Ooh, man. Well, we got him. I think I hit something good. How do we do with this guy, though? Well, we did good jam damage to that torso. I think we can probably take him down next turn. Oh, maybe we can take him down this turn. I forgot about Scooter. Um, forgot about Bum Scooter. Can you... Man, that's such a good... Uh... Aye, aye. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna go all in. Let's just go for him. Let's just go for him. Let's bring you down. Look at the chances to hit on this guy. Alright, here it comes. There's the crits. Oh my god, yes. I left that... Uh, I left the energy crit in there as much as I was tempted to put the the, uh, the plus two energy um, accuracy in it. That one ended up going into um, one of the Panthers. I can't remember which one. I think it was one with a pair of Rex lasers. But uh, yeah, I ended up doing that. All right, Jager Mech is last. Going full throttle. It's a threat right now, but he's focusing on the turrets. So we're going to worry about this guy with that AC-20. Here, AMS this. Got it. Ah, oh, we missed him. Ah, oh, we still killed him though. No, we didn't. Damn it. Reporting critical hit. We killed the AC-20. Turrets have got a couple shots off. Yeah, give it to him. Knock him down. There it is. Come on, blow up when you land. Two or three. Health, one or three. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm not looking forward to this next fight, though. It's going to be a face-to-face -face fight. That's not going to be good for us. Depending on... Oh, the shots. Depending on what we get. This is a pretty good lance, though. I mean, for three and a half. Three good mechs. A couple of half-decent vehicles. That that third mech. I mean, it has heavy firepower, that, that, mech, that third mech, whatever it was, but... Um, no armor. Yeah, that's where it's gone. Hopefully he's jammed now. 
He's keeping his back to that wall, too. What are you up to? Don't turn. Okay, he didn't turn. What is up with my chance to hit? Am I drunk today? Is that what it is? Probably. We'll take that shot though. I'm gonna leave my lighter mechs to kill that sprint. I gotta get rid of him. I don't know, I'm gonna see what he's got on him first. Uh, we'll take the shot on this guy. I'm gonna core him. I want this guy gone, so let's just go after him. Target confirmed. Nice. Now, the reason why I want him gone, as opposed to going for salvage on him, uh, because if he stays up to the end of the turn, our turrets might shoot at him rather than these bigger, like this bigger target, which is more of a threat. Orders. Right. So it's about it's about forcing the turrets to go after what I want them to go after, as opposed to like. Um, what they want to shoot for. Now, you, what do you have? Bomb mines. Well, that's not good. Um. Let's get down here. Heading out. I think we, we, have to, we have to try and kill this guy. So I'm going to leave the rotary off. Drop the recoil there, but we'll fire everything else. Doesn't have a lot of armor. Aye, aye. Nothing. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. I'm here. I gotta be further back for this thing to do any damage. It's such a weird collection of weapons. You've got a nice close-in weapon, but then the other weapon has to be at a distance to be really of any use to anybody. If I go here, that Jager mech's gonna target me. Well, let's just do this. All right, full speed. Puts me in a position to flank that uh, guy next turn. We'll just take a pot shot at this guy. All weapons fire. Yes, Commander. It didn't look like I did any damage there, so I have no idea. Yeah, the rotary's the rotary and the like the two racks are down, so that. I shouldn't be firing anything this turn. But I gotta fire the racks because I want to like try and kill this guy. Drop those guys for now. Roger that. You know what? I didn't wind up that rotary. Second rotary. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Good thing I didn't uh, Receiving come down and needing it last turn. Okay, you gotta get over that hill. That Jaeger can't see you. Go after this guy. Down. He's probably gonna drop bombs on us. Well, you know what? He probably won't because... He's got a movement restriction now. He needs to move a certain distance this turn. Unless he sits completely still. Come on, yes. Yeah, you're a little hot. What was that? Sorry, I missed that. Well, I, 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 did anyone hear what he said? I, can't, I, don't know what he, I don't know what he was saying. He was saying something, but I wasn't listening. Affirmative. Something about heat something or other. We got a few complainers on this on this squad. I just let you know. Yeah, go after that guy. We're down two turrets anyway, so okay, one hit. All right, batter up. I'm here. I'm here, but I can barely move. Let's get over here. I'm walking here. All right. I'm probably going to let the vehicles deal with that Jager mech because uh, I don't want to get engaged in that thing right away. So he's mostly damage on the other side. Okay, a little bit of damage. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Famous last words, right? One, we're far enough away, too. He needs to move a fair distance to get around to see me, so I think we should kind of be okay. Use the combat shotgun on, I'm sure. Blaze fire is jammed. Oh, rotary's out of range, unfortunately. Target acquired. I don't know if that hit. Standing by. Just 
stay down behind the hill. It. It's nice that this thing's a little stealthy now too, though. That active camouflage, it's like, it, it basically replaces your ECM, so it gives you four ECM jamming and four, um, oh shit. He's a little faster than I thought. Critical hit. I saw that. Aye, aye. This guy's being a dick. Let's show. Let's. Sh I was gonna say let's show him who has a bigger dick, but let's show him who can be a bigger dick. I'd rather be a bigger one than have a bigger one. All right, let's just hit this guy. <laughs> Oh man, his CT is like really bad too. We should be able to probably be able to kill him from the front, but we're gonna shoot from behind. Because that's just how we roll. Man, he did a lot of damage. What is he got? He must have rotary twos. Because it was doing like 10 or something of pop, so. Unless he's got LBXs. Not, or, uh, yeah, LBXs maybe. Ow. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm oh, sorry, what was that? Fucking whiners. Got something you want done? Fucking whiners. All y'all. All y'all. Um. That's, you know. Copy that. I don't even know why this guy's got such great chances to hit. But we're gonna take these. And let's not forget to wind it up. Here it goes. Wow, those. Rex is doing like nothing at this range. Of course we couldn't hit that CT. Ready for orders. Fifty-two. It'll probably be better when we get there though. I don't know. We've had worse odds. Do I wanna get like Probably. I wanna Roger. face him, I think. Just in case look, we don't kill them and their turrets shoot and hit me, so. Oh yeah, it's 81. See ya! Got the angle, take the shots. Target eliminated. Thanks for showing up. Okay, nothing. Good hits. Alright. Big T. Ready for orders. How did you make out on here? So that's... You're done for the next battle. Because this is where our rotary rifle is. And the blaze fire. Oh, we gotta make sure we kill this guy. He's going on 19. And we pretty much all go before him. So I'm gonna move up to here. Roger that. Just gonna walk it. And we, yeah, we're gonna face him. I'm not gonna run away this time. Uh, leave the rotary on. Let's just shoot the works. Let's just do it. There we go. Tango down. All right, next base. All right, I'll see you when we get up there, guys. All right, well, we've moved up, and I'm going to do something a little different this time. we got our four mechs up here, and I've got my two Hetzers down here for an opportunity at a quick strike. I'm only doing this because I know technically where the enemies They're going to drop here. If they don't drop and it's mechs up here, then we are in a lot of trouble because we're missing two of our units. So we're going to have to be careful here. Uh, let's get the Vindicator into here. I'm going. Javelin over to here. Find it out in a second. Okay, they are dropping. Got contacts incoming. All right. So this is our units. Wait. What the hell? Did they just drop behind us? They just dropped behind us. Wait. Are these our guys or are these the enemy? Comstar. So they're not our guys. Um, I 
Okay, this is really bad. Heading out. And of course, it didn't let me. Oh, that's just brutal. Now my back is facing the sh shadow hawk. Um, Panther. Oh God. I don't know. This is the guy that's been mauled too. Get around there. All right, our vehicles are woefully out of position here. So how far can we get? We can be in battle in probably two turns if we go this way. So we're gonna go this way. On my way. All right. Well, let's see how fast they are, cause. All right, we got a little bit of advantage here. So they're going on 15s. They got one Marauder Warhammer, a Shootist, a Champion, a Rifleman, and a Shadowhawk. Well, we won a competition. Ready for orders. We definitely got a competition. My question is though, is how much are they gonna wanna shoot for me and how much are they wanna destroy the base? You can't maneuver past this. Oh, you can. 40. 40. Oh, boy. We got a guy. Oh, we were going to have a guy standing right here, but we didn't. So the Vindicator... Okay, so we're not too bad off. I mean, we're bad off, but not too, too bad. It's Good with the Rexes, but terrible with the Rotaries. We want to get the Rotaries into play as best we can. 25% is not very good. Twenty-eight. Oh boy. LBX 10. Streak 2s. So I think the LBX-10 is here. Oh, God. Rotaries are great for knockdown, but they're not good for uh, close range fighting. That puts me in the trees, though. There is not bad positioning, I guess. I got a sprint. Nope. Right there. Still garbage. Well, I think that's the best we're going to get there. And I think if we go to... I can't push out so more than one of them can see me though. If I do that, it's it's just it's we're done. All they all they're gonna do is if they focus fire one guy, our mechs are just gonna drop like flies. Alright, let's go this route. That's not bad damage, we'll see. Got a hit though. Receiving you. Okay, you got speed. We do the same thing. Get over here. I gotta fight on my terms here. I can't let them have free reign to come after me. Alright, let's hope we do some damage here. Okay, not too bad. Where are you going? You're running away or heading towards the base? You're heading towards the base. 
Yes, Commander. I need to get you out of the line of sight of all of those guys. Yeah, well... Okay, let's keep on this Shadowhawk. We have the best chances to hit against him. I'm not going to go to Acid on this guy. Let's hope we do some good damage here. Firing all weapons. Nice. Got past the armor. This just in. Critical hit. Orders. Alright, Big Sex. Uh, can you get a back shot on that guy? You can, but you open yourself up to potential attack from the champion. Although, I think he's going to be moving this turn. It's not bad chance to hit, though. You're, so you're damaged on the... Left side. I'm going to go... I'm going to try this. We gotta wind this rotary rifle. Though. We gotta get it into combat now because it might not last. Okay, right side Saw gone. On that one. He's not falling. Yes, Commander. Let's see how talented you are, Mr. Ripley. Okay, it's not a this turn strike. It's a next turn strike. Oh. That just screams they're going to attack me if I go there. But the machine guns are... I want to get the machine guns on this guy, but they're out of range unless I move in there. I just can't get a shot on them. Do I forego? I think I have to. Where do we go then? Probably there for now. Roger. I gotta get as close to them as I possibly can, but not exposed, so that's probably a safe spot. Pro I don't know, maybe. Standing by. Protected by the ECM, so. And you're just out of range to get in on this guy. Get to the trees, though. Okay, I think we managed to recover. We'll see how well they do here. They still all have to go, all these guys, so. Oh god, I don't like this. What do we got for turrets? I should have looked at. Shoot us. This guy could be a problem. God, they, 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 they just could make short work in this base. Better the base than me. There goes that building. One down. They may have the firepower to take this whole base down before I get a chance to do much. He went all in. This guy's gonna go all in. One building remains. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Kill him. Oh, I got the knockdown at least. I don't know if we're going to get the kill on that Shadowhawk. Oh, he bailed. Okay, okay, okay. They're down to five. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All they gotta do is kiss that building and it's game over. Who's got the... biggest... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Standing by. Does it really matter? 
Like, honestly. They're slow, so I mean... Fifty on the champion. This is a really good shot in the rifleman. Oh man, I, it doesn't. What difference does it make, really? Am I gonna kill them? Yeah, most likely not. Okay, I put you guys at the top. Uh, see how much damage we can do to this guy. Ooh, that hit something good. Okay. Waiting for orders. Going after the green. Back shots. Not the best, but we gotta take it. Oh man, do I drop these or not? No, I gotta shoot. I gotta distract this guy, so we gotta hit him with something. Never you say, boss. Target's taking a critical hit. Yes, Commander. You goddamn right he has! Alright, um... Now who? Same guy? 35. A little better on you. Let's go with a better chance to hit. Not much better, but, uh... I'm gonna be overheating. Blaze fire can come off. We'll fire the rest. Fire everything! That's some good damage. Aye, aye. Who now? We gotta shoot somebody. I don't know if they're gonna turn to shoot me though. That's the thing. Wait. Not the best chance to hit. Oh boy. We haven't shot the Warhammer yet though. Well, he's been hit though. He's been hit. Garbage damage, man. It's not going to even be a knockdown. Roger. It's not even going to be a knockdown. Do I fire through these guys? And maybe hit the guy in front of this guy? I'm gonna try that. Well, doesn't, I mean, what difference does it make? Do we go for that percentage chance to hit? Which we probably should. It's not, the damage is nothing really, but. Like we could get the, it's got no back armor. We could get some crits. Let's just do this. Got past the armor. Sure did. Waiting for orders. All right, Mr. Ripley. I think that. I don't know who was the biggest threat. Was it the shootest? Can I get behind the shootest? I can get behind everybody, but apparently, but I can't. Apparently, turn. I'm sure it'll be better when I get there. That's a side shot only. Well, champion it is. On the move. Oh boy. Best chance to hit. Let's just go after him. Could be a kill. All weapons. How oh, we missed. Go. Target's taken a critical hit. Ready for orders. Little bit out of play here, but let's just get into play. Let's move. We're hot, but whatever. Let's try and at least get one guy. Let's keep the crits on, though. We might get him with crits. Let's go this route. On it. Critical 
Should be a knockdown. He might bail. No. We hit our own guy, though. Oh, he's gonna get up. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Besides, probably finish us off here. Finish the match. Oh, okay. Yeah, these guys are gonna... What are they gonna do? Are they gonna shoot the building? Um. Yeah. We could have won that if we didn't have to defend buildings. That could have been a win. Ah, we're getting brutal glosses here. Mission failed. Well, I don't chuck that up as a brutal loss. That was actually, if you... We could have won that. We could have won that if we didn't have to defend buildings. This guy probably would have lost his side torso, though, in the fight. But that was winnable, I think. I feel pretty good about our performance there. We, we only had one turn to do something. Oh, we got some money out of that. That's our repair cost right there, so that's okay, I guess. You know, thinking about that now, I wonder what would have happened if I had used the Hetzer to shoot the shootist. Because the other mechs didn't engage the buildings. They didn't really engage at all. So I wonder if I had gone after the shootist with the Hetcher, if it had gone, it would have gone after the building or not. Like I know in the past when you used to target mechs, they used to switch from buildings to you, but I've had several experiences where I've actually done that and they just ignore me and they still shoot the buildings. So I was convinced that it didn't matter, they were going to kill that last building anyway. But I wonder if I would have had an extra turn out of that if I had targeted the shootist. Oh well, not much I can do about it now. And unfortunately we don't have all of our pilots back for this second lance. So I'm going to have to jump now. We got 6.1 million plus a little bit of extra that I can sell. So we're going to jump, get everything repaired and back. Crusader will be back. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll move the Bushwhacker down into the third lance. Put the Crusader into this... Or maybe we put the Crusader in the third lance. And leave the Bushwhacker where it is. I like that AC-20 up where it is. So maybe we use the Crusader in the third lance and bump that up to, you know, of almost the same weight category as the, the second lance. So the second lance is operating probably five skulls. We could operate that third lance at like three and a half, four. And our main lance is probably at least three. I wonder what that would have been like if that was just a straight up battle. The turrets were definitely an advantage in that fight. I mean, not so much in that first battle. I mean, they, they did do a bit of damage in the first battle and were a distraction. If we didn't have that distraction on that turn one, that could have been bad times for us. It, it really depends on who gets to shoot first. If we get to shoot first, then we can generally kill, it seems to be anyway, generally kill one or two mechs, usually on the first turn if we have a half-decent chance to hit. Or we can target one heavy mech and take it down real quick. To try and balance the scales a bit. Anyway, I'm going to start heading towards the Marian Hegemony again. I was hoping that more Lyrian, like we would find some heavier quick sell stuff in Lyrian space, but I think it's going to be a shot in the dark. I think Marian Hegemony is probably our best bet. So I'm going to hop back that way, I think, between episodes. And when we come back... We may run with the main lance again because everyone will be back. We'll see what we're at, where we're at, what planet we're at. And because um, I'm not afraid now to jump. Well, maybe uh, 1.7 mil. I don't want to use three and a half mil to jump. So we'll do one month worth of jumping, make some money and then jump again. Just like we've done here. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was a pretty good fight. Hopefully, we can find more missions like that because I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please go check out the Quick Sell site and drop comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.